Should my friendly guy and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Anwin for anyone who's new here and we're back with Life is Strange and even though we've completed the main game now I do have Steph's story wavelengths so we are starting that today and if you haven't seen Life is Strange through colors yet I do have a full playthrough of it in the iCards and uh, if you have seen it and you haven't seen mine I spoiler alert i do end up romancing steph so i don't know whether that'll be connected in steph's story or not because i think this is technically set before true colors uh but i haven't looked into any of that i haven't spoiled anything for myself so steph's story we are going to be playing through this without knowing anything else and yeah i'm so looking forward to this. I cannot wait. So let's start Steph's story. Have you played Life is Strange season one? Yes. Did you choose to save Arcadia Bay? <gasps> oh, sorry, Chloe. Yes, we saved Arcadia Bay. <gasps> Your actions and decisions will have consequences for Steph and everyone around her. Oh! Life is strange, wavelengths. And there she is. There's my girl. Hey, Steph. Missed you. Steph. Uh, Gingrich? Is that how you say it? Yeah, that's right. What kinds of radio have you done before? God, let's see. What haven't I done? College radio, small town station, did a couple podcasts. Lots of live mixing for my band. Oh, okay. So you know your way around an audio booth. Oh. <clears throat> Done that once or twice. Yeah, totally. Your friend did tell me you were overqualified for this job. I just assumed he was, you know. Gabe? Being Gabe. Right. Oh. <laughs> well, look, if you can handle it without much supervision, the job's yours. Awesome. Nice. Now, part of your responsibilities would be managing the record store. Given all your retail experience on your resume, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Oh, right. Yeah, no problem at all. Great. So your friend said you quit your band to be here. Can I ask why? Sorry. Maybe that's too personal. No, it's fine. Um, no big reason. I'm just trying to... <gasps> Get over a breakup? Do something cool. Step back a little. Do something cool. You know, do something cool. Something I can really get into. Like DJing for a cute little station. Be me again. Well, I hope we live up to expectations. Haven Springs is no Seattle. I think I'll love it. Ooh! Okay. The manager left me a task list for my first day. So that's probably around here somewhere. It's our first day? Okay, let's look at the bobblehead. What are you supposed to be? A miner? Are you the Haven High mascot? And an eagle at the same time. There's our task list. We got a phone. Are you sure the only other time I've used a landline was to call my cell phone? <laughs> 
bet I could get these to stick to the bulletin board from here. <laughs> Do it. Okay. <gasps> oh! It looks so different! With all the band posters! It looks so different! I didn't click on straight away. Okay, let's have a look at our task Great. list. Here's the list. Cool. Introduce yourself. Use the computer to play the auto DJ. Read all ads on air. Ad copy is on the desk. It's very unlikely, but some folks might call in. This probably goes without saying, but if someone calls, answer. I'm out then, I'm sorry. I hate phone calls. <laughs> Good luck, Beatrice. Okay. We never met a Beatrice. Introduce myself on air? Huh. Let's give this a shot. No! One of these buttons is the mic switch. <laughs> I, I don't have that. Uh, oh, and we turned it on. Oh, okay. Introduce yourself. Uh, Show my friend the eye. <laughs> What's up, kind haven listeners? Steph here. And uh, the music maestro. KRCT's new maestro of music, sultan of songs, tyrant of tunes. You get the picture. <laughs> We've got some great music coming up for you. So uh, keep it here. You're listening to KRCT. Yeah, go on, Steph. Turn well, on the glitter lap. I promised great music. So next up, check out the playlist. Okay. I can't change the colour of the lamp now. That's a shame. It's pink. I'm happy with pink. Let's use this the PC. This is Haven's number one indie rock playlist. Pretty sparse. Oh. Today's music, playlist, schedule. Well, there's not really a lot, is there? It'll okay. do. I guess. Hello. Are we actually gonna pick music? Sorry, computer DJ. It's my turn now. Go on, Steph. Oh, okay. So we've got Paint Me Silver, Fall Asleep, Home Four Oaks. Oh, I like. Oh, Talking Distance. I like the cover art of this one and this one. I think this one, maybe? This looks pretty cool. Yeah, let's play this one. Shaking Ooh. things up already, Gingrich. Maybe I can play a few more songs today. Now I'm supposed to read some ad copy. That okay. must be around here too. Let's have a look at this. Okay, they want me to riff on these bullet points. So I should probably study them a little first. Oh no. Oh, we gotta do the Black Lantern. <laughs> uh. Let's read this. Right, so so we need authentic atmosphere. Sure. And put to work Colorado.com. Rule promo code. Proper sponsorship. And Avalanche Ice Cream. Oh the place that kinda of shut down. Sunny and Angela and Avalanche. Is it they really names are Avalanche? Oh, please don't call us that. Oh, last name is Anderson. This one? What are we listening to? Oh, whatever that's supposed to be. How oh, cute though, I love the lava lamp. We're doing like a little chill. Hell yeah. Cool, she had a little bit of a listen to some music. Now you gotta do your ad read. I now officially listen to sweet tunes for a living. Hell yeah. Let's play this one next. <gasps> this looks so different. Okay. Read ad. Uh, 
Black Lantern. And now, a message from one of KRCT's sponsors, the Black Lantern. Here in Haven, the Black Lantern is known for... Historical decor? The historical decor. Where else can you feast under a used pickaxe and a literal bullet hole? That's right. <laughs> nowhere. And then there's the food. Try the lanterns. Top-notch burgers. Top-notch burger game. Best burgers for 20 miles in any direction. Bar none. Stop by the Black Lantern today and tell them Steph sent you. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I need a break. I'll just step away from the desk for a sec. Okay. Leave. I've been meaning to fill out my dating app profile. What? Oh no. Steph Gingrich, this is your life. Uh, ooh, a lyric. <laughs> Musician, gamer, cat lover, or impulsive traveler, gay disaster, aspiring DJ. Cat. Next, gotta out myself as a media snob. It's only fair. What kind of stuff do I want to name drop? I don't know. Games. That's what I'd be. And top it off more. with a dash of what I'm looking for. Uh, community. Uh, lover of drums, games, and cats. I'll beat you at dino kart racing. <laughs> Looking for people who can plug me into the Colorado lesbian scene. Yes. What's this? <gasps> I can swipe left and right. Oh. Mother of two, exploring a different side of myself. Nah. This user hasn't <laughs> entered a tagline yet. How mysterious. She says mysteriously. I actually have some pretty big news to share. She said mysteriously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I've never had a dating app. I'm too ace for this. Uh, show? Sure? <laughs> oh! Sure? Hi? <gasps> Make the mo- um, <laughs> I'm out! I don't want to do this anymore! Uh, wait for him. I'm gonna let Bubbles do the talking. Yeah. Hello, handsome. Okay. You're a bot, aren't you? Shit. Oh well. Uh... <gasps> That's me! Hi! You spelt your name wrong, but you have plaits in your hair. I've just taken mine out, hence the waves. That's me! She likes cats too! Hi me! Yeah, could Steph date Caitlin please? <laughs> Hi! Uh... Okay. Yes, I should probably break the ice. <laughs> what to say to me? Uh, play it cool with me. <laughs> okay, you're gonna think I'm the world's biggest bitch. That's right. Yeah. Oh, us Caitlyn's are alike. Uh, why? Oh. Oh. Ow. Oh. Oh, you could have been the one. Let's uh stop with the dating apps. A bot There's and a straight Caitlin. For me to do in the Can't store relate. as well. <laughs> oh, tattoos. Oh. Are you the one we're looking for? She her. We are looking for? I like her tattoos though. <laughs> anime! <gasps> She's so pretty! I'm up for anime. You're kidding. Oh, okay. I've swiped with everyone then. Gabe! 
Oh, I'm trying to sleep. Whatever, you'll sleep when you're dead. About the Ragged Sword job, though. Ah, oh, fine. I'll go in for the interview. Thanks, Gabe. You're the coolest friend a girl could have. Thanks, Gabe. Now let me sleep for fuck's sake. Break a leg, kid. Thanks, man. Seriously. Don't even mention it. Oh, Gabe! Is he our old bandmate? <gasps> hey. I think it would be best if I blocked your number. It's not personal. I just feel like the temptation to text you would be too much. And I want to let you get on with whatever you're doing. It is you're doing out there. So, bye. Oh, is he? It's our old bandmate who I kind of thought might have been our ex. Mikey! From Life is Strange uh, Before the Storm! Ah! Oh, no idea. I split. Where are you now? Haven Springs. Is that a suburb of Denver? Uh, see, that would have been a smart place to move to. No, it's way out in the BFE. Long story. Well, if you ever want to tell it, I'm all yours. Oh, Mikey. We have no more. Oh, Kylie's message. Hi, Unicorn Kylie. Unicorn hunters. Barking up the wrong tree, I'm afraid. Uh, I said we, but like I didn't get it. <laughs> I don't do dating site. Great. Yeah. What am I doing? Listen to your portable recorder. But Treat board? yourself this Valentine's Day. Call Fred's snow removal. What the hell? Station. When's the last time someone even used this? <laughs> I kind of did. <laughs> what is this? I mean, who am I kidding? I totally would have gone to this tour. Okay. Package. No contact for two years. Mikey. Then this mysterious package. <laughs> well played, Mikey. Oh wow. Okay. Let's let's open the package then. All my old GM stuff. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. No way. Oh, cool. Mikey really went for the nostalgia. Guess I should look through everything. I don't get what I'm supposed to listen. Is it in here? Boxes. Our drum set was in here. If I emptied all these out, I could make a wicked fucking fort. But Hell I'm yeah. not doing that right now. <laughs> One day, bad clip art is going to make a comeback. And when that day comes, I'll be ready. Nope. Oh, there's the portable recorder. Mostly, I'm totally at peace with my decision to quit the band and stay here. Mostly. Drugstore makeup was our band. Oh, what's this? George? Hey there, sweets. So how's it out there in the big CO? Hunted any wild elk yet? I've been buried, buried by deadlines lately. Clients submitted feedback at the last minute, asking for their trailer to feel, and I quote, more like a trailer. You got it, boss. <laughs> Tried watching that show you recommended, but couldn't get past the undead nuns. Okay? Do you have anything a little more grounded for me? Love, George. Not love, dad. Okay. Dad, I don't know what could be more grounded than undead nuns. They are literally buried underground. <laughs> Did you try shadows and whiskey yet? It's got all that crime noir you love without the misogyny, lol. Love me. <laughs> P.S. Did you try making that trailer more like a trailer? P.P.S. No dead elk yet, but there's always tomorrow. Okay. So our dad's name's George and he seems like he's a architect or something. So there's our recorder. I had this melody in my head all night. Finally got out of bed and recorded it. I wonder how it sounds now. I could give it a listen, see if I still like it. Sure. This is actually pretty sick. I guess upgrading from humming to actual music is a good next step. Oh, 
Okay. I know nothing about okay. music, really. So what instrument should I play this thing on? Ooh, I don't know what a synth is, so a guitar. Yeah. Sorry about the fireworks. I bet too. it'll sound cool as a guitar riff. It was bonfire night uh, a couple of days ago, so yeah. Sorry about the fireworks. <laughs> Let's read this. Feel first. like I'd get along with this woman. My name is Cassia. I'm an old bat in a nursing home in Colorado Springs. <laughs> the record traders is very near to my heart. So anything you can do to improve the place, and I do mean anything, is greatly appreciated. Kind regards, Cassia. Some ideas, better decor, better music, fix vent cover in the back. It's been falling off for years. Oh, okay. So, if I read that right, Kasha's basically giving me carte blanche. I can work with that. Yeah? I'll check out those posters. Maybe there's something to spruce up the walls. Yeah, like a firewalk poster! I can at least start it by updating the new releases. Yeah. And... Yep. There's the vent. Might as well take a look. Okay. We have so much to do. <laughs> Enter the booth a bit. Let's do some more ad reads. Uh, I feel like we should get that done first. Avalanche ice cream. Here's a new local business to get excited about. Avalanche ice cream in downtown Haven Springs. The variety of flavors they've got is gonna blow your freaking mind. Yeah, 50. Uh, experiments. You think I'm kidding? These guys have, and I hope you're sitting down, crab rangoon flavored ice cream. Just uh -oh. saying. So come on down to Avalanche Ice Cream and get yourself a scoop from our good pals. Mr. and Mrs. Anderson. Sonny and Angela Anderson. The best neighbors a hungry DJ could ask for. Let's hear from one of our sponsors. PutToWorkColorado.com has been putting Coloradans to work since 2002 using their... Uh, Korea experts? licensed experts these people are like career sherpas helping you scale the mountain of your dreams okay but steph you say i'm a unique artisan with a highly specialized skill set no way they'll have a job for me to which i say not with that attitude <laughs> and just for my listeners get a free trial membership with promo code krct Ooh, green. Okay. So we've done the ad reads now, right? Thanks for supporting KRCT. If you have any regrets, it is now too late. Oh. <laughs> we can banter? Yeah, why not? I'm gonna be shaking up the playlist a bit here at KRCT. So get your ears ready for some fresh tunes. And keep it here. Yeah, let's find a new song. How about... Fall asleep? Fall asleep doesn't seem right for a radio though, right? Pay me silver. Maybe fall asleep can be our last one to like chill people out at the end. <laughs> the new song. And yeah, we can go back out now. So we've done the ad rates. So, need a new Elamon campaign. My old notebook had some ideas in it that might work. Okay. Uh, let's look My first. old notebook. Dad must have dug it up in my room and given it to Mikey. Oh. Oh my god. This takes me back. <laughs> Warning, proceeding further will result in character death by sudden and unexplained organ failure. Sure. Uh, let's read this. Honourable advisor to King Tiberius. Felt the call of magic since childhood. Villagers of Crendel's Keep know two things better than anyone else on the Widowed Sea. How to catch a stubborn herring with hook and line and the taste of a stubborn herring over fire. Okay. 
and Pivik City. Perfection comes at a cost. Rubies and fire. The locals call it Daughter Flame, but the mountain had older names. Furnace Peak, Crimson Rock, and if you ask the right wrinkled bookkeeper, Castus Elder Throne. Beneath the froth and foam or the perfect city. I kind of like the perfect city. Yeah, let's go for that one. Nice! Do we actually get to play? Are we going to make Gabe and Charlotte play? That'd be so much fun. <laughs> what? It would be really fun to reconnect with Mikey. It's been ages. But am I ready to GM a whole campaign again? Oh, you got really stressed but, about yeah, that. Yeah, I am. <laughs> but yeah, you enjoy it. Yes! Okay. So, we've done all that. Update new releases. If we don't have new releases, what do we have? Ooh! 90s. I'm a millennial. Let's go for the 90s. Boy bands and girl groups and rock and roll. It's throwback time. Uh, okay, I'm all right with that. <laughs> Shit, that's coming from inside the booth. Ooh, my first call. Better go answer it. Ah, uh, hello. You're on KRCT radio, and you're talking to Steph. Yo, this the record store? Yep. Uh, sort of? Hmm. Depends what you mean by this. Back to pink. What? See, this is a radio booth within a record store. And this voice you're speaking to, me, is a DJ who also works at the record store. <laughs> but this phone call, as I mentioned, is decidedly for the radio. Follow? Uh, no. Oh. Could I just give you my order and you can just, like, give it to whoever? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Why not? Sweet. All right. Uh, I got Goodbye Means Forever by Kim Snyder, Going Our Separate Ways by The Seagulls, Don't Let the Door Hit You by Robbie Rooster. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy. What? No, nothing. Just, who are these four? My girlfriend, I saw them in her wish list online and decided to surprise her. Buy local, you know? Oh, bless oh, yeah. him. Cool. Yeesh. I don't think this kid realizes that his girlfriend is loading up on breakup music. Oh. Okay. Look. Maybe she's telling you something. I wonder if your girlfriend might be sending out some signals you're not picking up on. <laughs> yeah. You lost me there. <sighs> Alright, dude. Listen. I'm pretty sure your girlfriend's breaking up with you. Oh. How the hell would you know that? Gee, I don't know. Guess I'm psychic. Oh. Whatever, lady. Screw this. Oh. Thanks for calling KRCT. <laughs> Poor kid. <laughs> uh, we flung some dinos at the thing. Yeesh. Looks like I got here just in time. Oh, what's this? However, your programming leaves a little, to, a lot to be desired. On Saturday, during what was supposed to be your classic rock block, you played Lonesome Ranch three times in a row. Lonesome Ranch is not a classic rock song. It's a six-year-old country western single. And three times in a row? Did the DJ fall asleep? Oops. I may have no clue what I'm doing, but the good news is maybe no one is listening anyway. Oh yeah, that's pretty low. Whoops. Okay. Mikey! Hey dude! Hey, 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 hey. Did you get the package I sent you? Hell yeah! Oh, I actually get to reply? This is fun! 
They're just being way too long. I'm straight up hype about all <laughs> about murder and Alamon again. Lol, classic Seth. <laughs> We're gonna pick a different song now. Let's go for Fall Asleep. <laughs> this is so fun. I'm having so, such a good time. <laughs> Uh, lovely. Do a little bit more banter. You're listening to KRCT, Haven's best and only choice for modern rock. <laughs> we need to fix the vent. All those years of high school set design were preparing me for this moment. Oh! Oh! oh. It what just did needs they some do? Screws. I can't remember. Oh my god, that animal's living in the walls. Valkyrie! Hey, you in there. I'm coming back tomorrow with Febreze and a broom. So consider yourself warned. No, it's Valkyrie! Flyers, posters! Yes! Uh, let's look first. If any of these ask me to dance like no one's watching, I'm buying myself a drink. Yeah, that uh, kiwi schnapps. Firewalk, obviously. Hmm. One of these might work. Women of power. Oops. Women of power. That sounds promising. Let's go, lesbians. Yes! Cool. Why, Ooh, yes, fun. I did put up a poster of cute girls flexing. Let's not all act surprised at once. <laughs> oh, phone answer. KRCT, Hello. Steph here. Hey, are you the psychic? Yes. Really? Yeah, that's her. Oh. You predicted I was going to dump Danny before I did it, right? So you're psychic. <laughs> you know what? For the sake of filling some airtime, sure. I'm a psychic. I, I tell foretell us. shit. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, so my best friend for basically my whole life, Tara, and I both got into CU. But then I got into UC, which is my dream school. I know I'm always Ooh. supposed to follow my dreams, but I'm so scared of what will happen if I go to school without Tara. She's my rock. Uh, That's... you'll be fine. Are you sure you want to talk about this with me? <laughs> Didn't we just go over this? Are you going to help me or not? Yeah. Okay. Just give me a second. Damn. How do I tell this girl's future? <gasps> the dice! All right. What am I going to tell this girl? Oof. A six is not great news. Ooh. So, what's my prediction? Mortal enemies. Okay. I think I've got something for you. Ready? Yes. Okay. The good news is that you and Tara will definitely keep up your relationship. <laughs> it's just that instead of best friends, you become mortal enemies. What? Why? I don't know. A uh, literary rivalry. A year into college, you both discover a gift for the art of lyrical expression known as poetry. I love poetry. But it's not all roses and violets. The world of poetry journals is small and brutally competitive. Soon, the two of you are passively aggressively sniping at one another, then aggressively aggressively. Instead of becoming the next Emily Dickinson, you end up just being a dick. <laughs> Hate is a feathered thing. What? All right. That's all I got. Hope it wasn't Hope too it brutal. Hope it wasn't too brutal. It, it was, was better than college dropout, right? I think it'll right? help prepare me for the bumpy roads ahead. Thanks, Steph. Ah. Did we run out of sticky dinosaurs? Oh. Gabe. Yo, you're doing great! Give me a call towards the end of your shift for a debrief. 
What? Yeah, right. I'll just finish up whatever I want to do, and then call Gabe. <laughs> just call me when you're done. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, Gabe's the best. Let's do a little bit more banter. We're coming into allergy season, kind Haven listeners. Don't really have anything else to say about that. <laughs> okay. Can't wait to debrief with Gabe. What a wild day. <laughs> yeah, let's call Gabe. Okay. <laughs> I miss Gabe so much. This is great. Oh my god. Oh my god. Am I caller number 12? Dude, this <laughs> job you got me? It's great? Turns out it's like four jobs simultaneously. And I'm qualified for maybe three quarters of one. Why did I let you convince me to bullshit my way through that interview? Ah! Uh, you know you're on the air, right? No! Shit! Steph! Steph! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Avoid situations like these with puttoworkcolorado.com. <laughs> Elevate Good black. your job prospects today. Good black. Well done, Steph. <laughs> oh no, first that's first so embarrassing. <sighs> ah! Kind Haven listeners, today is the last day of June, and that means we've got one more day to celebrate pride. One of my favorite promotions this month. Contribute to our Haven Pride mural and get 20% off the Silver Dragon Dispensary. Oh, I'm nice. told this discount is participation-based and will not depend on artistic ability. But just in case, here's how you draw a rainbow. Start drawing a circle, That's... then stop. <laughs> More great music from queer artists coming down the pike. Yes! Hold up. I'm getting a vision of the future. It's me, answering your calls in just a few minutes. <laughs> oh, she looks hot, as in like temperature hot. <laughs> Another hot, because it's, it's Steph, too obviously. Damn hot to be. Yep. What's it called? Talking. Oh, your brain's melted, love. Oh. Fuck is hot. <laughs> ah, there's a pride thing though. That's so cool. All right. The heat's no excuse. Better take this call. Hello? Hey, you're live. What can I do you for? Hey, uh, well, Ooh. I think I might have screwed up pretty big with my son. Oh, okay. What happened? Uh, you're gonna think I'm a real jerk. But my boy Grady sat me down yesterday and he, I guess the term you'd use is, he came out to me. Oh, okay. And I could have handled it a lot better than I did. Uh, what does that mean? Shouldn't you talk to Grady? Nah, what does that mean? What does that mean? You could have handled it better? I didn't yell at him or anything. I just shut down. Oh. I didn't know what to say. Oof. That must have been rough for poor Grady. Anyway, he loves your show. Listens to it religiously, and I thought maybe I could put in a song request on his behalf. Oh, that's just so, so nice! He knows I hear him and I love him fuck yeah dad you're a good dad hey everybody screws up sometimes man I'm proud of you for trying to make it better yeah at least that's you're trying very kind of you Aww. just maybe try to be on board from now on having a queer kid is an absolute blessing I wish more dads acted like it yeah for sure what's the track it's Feelings by Haley Kyoko. 
Ooh. Grady played it for me right before he tried to talk to me. He said it was meaningful to him. Oh. All right. Let me see if I can dig it up. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate it. Pretty sure we've got that record somewhere in the back room. Okay. Sound effects? So we have sound effects now. We got the phone. Ads. Do we have more ads? Let's see who we got this time. Oh, Black Lantern again. What if we did an ad as if it was a radio drama? No. Okay. <laughs> we gotta find the record then. To help that dad. Hey, Steph. Your pals at Smolder have noticed you're having a massive dry spell on account of you live in fucking nowhere, Colorado. Would you like to expand your dating radius? <laughs> nah. Ooh. Violet's a cute name. I like she just colored her hair. Okay. I'm just gonna say yes. Uh, this user hasn't entered a tagline yet. How mysterious. Well, the last one was a bot that didn't add a tagline, so I'm gonna say no to that one. Pickle. Butch comedian. With bad hair and worse jokes. We could do jokes, sure. Cal, man, I don't know. Eh, you don't really do much. Uh, Fiona? Uh, I'll heal for you if you tank for me. Games! Yes, games! Ooh, okay. Uh, let's start hmm. it. What kind of opener do I want to use? A nitty one. Dig in the sword. <laughs> You're a rare and precious bean breed then. Ah. Uh, we do. something in common with it that's so cool it's been a minute since i played think you'd ever get back into it yeah <gasps> i'm you girl that um i didn't mean like <laughs> oh god i like fiona i didn't mean it in a sexy way oh uh, uh, uh i'm too ace for that uh River a little. Oh no. Uh, I kind of want to though. But she seems nerdy. Oh, but she's the first one that's actually been like. Actually, nice. We'll reassure. <laughs> We're on a fucking dating app. I don't want to cross any boundaries. Uh, you haven't even come close to my brownie uh, boundaries. Brownies. What? Haven Springs, kind of out in the boonies, huh? Uh, how how do you know more about Haven Springs than I do? It's called the internet. Sorry, it's a ha habit of mine. I go down rabbit holes. Uh, how many open browser tabs? Oh, it's probably more like 50. Oh, your RAM must be dying. <laughs> If anything, not weird is a deal breaker for me. Ah! Okay, lucky me. Uh, that's not even the full extent of my weird. Okay, so back to Haven Springs. Have you thought about maybe moving to Denver? No offense. Dude, I was gonna. Uh, she lost a bet! But I lost a bet! Yes! <laughs> Over foosball! <laughs> You should at least come to visit. Sure. Are we setting up a date with this Fiona girl? Denver is perfect, but I think you'll have a good time and I'd be excited to meet you. Uh, yeah. She sounds fun. A free most weekends? Oh shit, except... I'm sort of in this play right now. Ooh, we open this weekend and run for the next three weeks. <gasps> oh, is it too like needy to say that she'll come to the play? But we do like plays. We did do that play in Before the Storm. 
Is that too needy though? I don't know. I don't date. I'm ace. I, I don't do this shit. Oh, this is awful for me. Uh, sure. She sounds fun. You used to stage manage in high school. Hearts. Oh, we got hearts. Nice. We made a friend. Woo. Sounds fun. Okay. <laughs> I'm gutted about Caitlin. How dare you be straight, Caitlin? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna leave it off there for now anyway. If you enjoyed the first part of Steph's Wavelength, smash that like button and if you haven't already and you would like to, it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I upload on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Wednesdays for Life is Strange and Saturdays for Planet Zoo. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Goodbye.